So we are here at the Aperture booth. You know, one of my favorite people in the world. We got Brandon over here from Aperture. He's uh, he's busy tending to things, bringing them down to to our level of of communications. When you say what? our level, you're a foot taller than me. What are you at talking about? At least a foot tall. <laughs> so what is new here at, at Aperture and Amaran? So just yesterday at NAB, we debuted for the first time the Amaran 150C and 300C, as, long as, as well as these two modifiers, the Amaran Light Dome Mini SC and the Amaran Spotlight SC. So this entire table right here is called Amaran, and that's what we introduced just yesterday. So going on from this guy, this is a 150 watt RGB WW point source LED, and this is a 300 watt RGB WW point source LED, both with bones mount. And yes, that is a lot of letters and a lot of words. It's because these guys can do so much. Um, last year when we introduced the 600C Pro, we brought out a lot of features. We made a flagship product, something that could do pretty much everything it needed to do and everything everyone wanted it to do. But now this year, we wanted to create something that was more affordable for Amran users, for indie filmmakers, for content creators, for people who are using them in studios who just need side and snack and don't need all the bells and whistles like DMX, CRMX, weather resistance, battery charging, battery operability, even though they can't use batteries with DC 48 volt output inputs. We wanted to create something that was more approachable and more accessible for pretty much anyone who's looking to get started in this game and looking for anyone who's looking to get started in the world of color without needing to spring all the way for a 600C Pro. And right. that's what the Amaran 150C it, it's, it's hard for, for people who are starting out content creators and such that want to branch out, but they don't want to go straight for the gusto. This is yeah. kind of cool, it fills, fills the need, 150. Not a bad little entry point exactly. there. Exactly. It's bright enough. The 300C is the brightest light in the Amran point source category. And of course, the controls on these guys are super, super simple. All you need to do is use two knobs to control almost all the features of this guy. Click in, I can switch between CCT, and I can click again to switch between GM uh, right there. And then if I click again, I switch to my HSI mode. I can change my hue, I can change my saturation just like so. And if I want to do everything from sitting in front of camera or just when it's mounted in the position where I can't get to, I can, of course, control it through Sidus Link, which is controlling every single thing in this booth today. Everything from the 24 or 25 Novas that are up top to these lights down here, to the pixel tubes that are over there, to the infinity bars that are in front of the truss. Pretty much everything is running off of Sidus Link. And because we just don't need DMX for the show for what we're operating. And then you have a, a larger sibling over here, the 300C. Yes. yes, the 300C right here is the brighter of the two. So it's twice as much output as this guy in terms of bare output. Um, and it's the brightest light in the Amaran COB point source lineup. Uh, when you put the reflector on it, it does have a wider beam angle because it uses a slightly larger chip. But in terms of like in a softbox, this guy beats everything else in the Amaran product line. So this is, you know, a lipsoidal projector and it's, I guess, a budget version? Of, yes. So. so both of these modifiers are made for ease of use for our users right here. So, okay. so this is a very similar um, modifier to our Spotlight Mini Zoom in terms of size and weight. In fact, it's a little bit shorter and smaller than the Spotlight Mini Zoom, and it's also made for Bones Mount. So I can attach this onto Bones Mount lighting fixtures specifically. That includes Bones Mount lighting fixtures like the 300D2, the 300X, and the 300C because it supports up to 300 watts of power output. And of course, like all of our spotlights, it has shutters, so you can control the shutters very easily. But you can also at the same time, unlike other ones, submit and insert the gobo as well. You can also insert an 18 leaf iris, which is sold separately. At the same time, you can use all these modifiers at the same time uh, without having to swap out different inserts. And swapping out these lenses is super easy as well. All I have to do oh, is twist it nice. like that to take out the 36 degree lens, and I can put in the 19 degree lens just like that. And I'm done Plus in pretty much slick. 15 seconds, which is even faster than the aperture spotlight mount. That's pretty slick. So yeah. th these are, th what's up? What is that made out of? Diecast aluminum is what okay. we used to make these out of. Yeah, it almost looked like plastic at first, but it didn't feel like it. Yeah, this is definitely still super heavy duty, but it's still supported by the Amaran 300C and it's uh, metal Bowens mount. So it also now has a metal tilting column and a metal Bowens mount to support larger modifiers like the Light Dome 2, the Light Octodome 120, all within the new uh, Amaran build right here. It has a larger body because it has a larger heat sink and for a larger fan to kind of make sure that the silent active cooling is actually silent. And this guy right here is probably my favorite of the two modifiers for the simple reason that I can just close it so dang fast. All I gotta do is one, two, three, four. I can close two at a time and I've closed out it at the box. <laughs> and because it only has eight rods, I close it at a quarter of the time of a Light Dome Mini 2. And then setting it up is again, is just that simple. It's super fast. And because we use a polycarbonate speed ring right here, it's also super lightweight. 
That was pretty slick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was that was fast. And I absolutely love hate domes because of that. <laughs> yeah. This this I love a lot. That's yeah. that was really slick. When it's when it takes a long time, you don't want to set it up. And for our Amran users, especially people who are getting started in this game, we wanted them to have fixtures that could support them in their journey into making content and get out of their way. When you shoot in your studio, you want to make sure that you just turn on the lights and you're good to go. If you want to Literally. change the colors, well, you want to be able to be making it super easy. You don't have to log, patch into DMX. You don't want to have to do all these things that make it, that get in the way of your filmmaking and your creativity. Because I know you guys. Yep. I know you, Mr. Imagination Creative. Imagination Creation Films, because they're real fast. Imagination Creation Films. <laughs> I did it. Look at me. Yeah, I love, like, all my sets are all on Sinus Lake. And I've got yeah. set one, set two, set three, and I just I pop up my different views. I love Sinus Lake. It's, it's, it's amazing. And, and the Amaran stuff, it's kind of fun because it's been integrating more and more into my, my set. It makes it really nice. Yeah. It frees up a lot of lights for, for professional outdoor activities. Exactly. <laughs> so these are the 150C, 300C, the Spotlight SE, the Light Dome Mini SE. These guys are all available for pre-order now. Okay. Most of them are shipping in May. This guy okay. is probably shipping in late June. Okay. Um, and that's what these guys are. Very cool. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to talk about the MC Pros. Yes, right here we have the MC Pros, the bigger brother to the MCs that we just released two weeks ago on April 4th. Um, these guys are my favorite lights that we've come out with this year, and I will say that constantly, mainly because of just how good it feels in my hands. You can take a feel of the weight. This size and weight to me is perfect. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to show that it's durable. In fact, it is IP65 rated, so it's very, very durable in dust and inclement weather conditions, and it has a lot of features built into these guys. So these guys have been built a bigger battery to support that a little bit higher wattage output. And with a 45 degree beam angle optics, you have four times as much output as the MC. That's 1,585 lux at half a meter compared to 400 lux at half a meter. Additionally, you can control that very super easily through Sidus Link, or you can control that through CRMX or USB-C to DMX adapter right using the, using the USB, USB-C port. And if you want to adjust the quality of your light, you can slap on magnetic accessories just like we did with our M9 way back in the day. If you remember, 2016, that 9 light LED, you just had to slap on magnetic diffusion to diffuse it. Now, you can also slap on a dome. You can slap off this dome and throw on a grid that can control it really easily. So it's super, super easy to use and super, super easy to adjust and control. Now, each one of these guys comes with each one of these types of light modifiers, a flat diffusion, a dome diffusion, and this 30 degree control grid. Additionally, it comes with a magnetic ball mount. So I can, a ball head mount. So all I can do, all I have to do is stick it to something that's magnetic, like the steel baby pin, and I can connect it there and then just screw it into the MC Pro. Additionally, that comes that comes with every single one. But for the eight light kit, we decided to do something different because we initially had eight magnetic ball heads inside this kit. But we talked to gaffers, we talked to cinematographers, and we asked them, what is actually useful for you? And they said, honestly, it's really cool to have eight magnetic ball heads. Well, I'm, gonna but use eight. I'm not gonna use eight because I don't really actually always have a use for a ball head. I actually don't always have options for magnets. So that's true. So what do we almost always have on a film set? We almost always have gobo heads. So that's why we included this big pin spigot to quarter 20 adapter. But failing that, if you're out of gobo heads, you're out of C stands, you're out of clamps, we got you another clamp too. So a super clamp to articulating uh, quarter 20 mount right here and you can clamp it wherever you need so we wanted to really make it so that you could think put this wherever you need to and if you have something like wood you can tape this guy or use the adhesive on the back of that and stick this guy right on the magnets here or the magnets for the quarter 20 ball head so we really wanted you to be able to mount this in whatever position you had to mount it in and then when you're done you're ready to go you're ready to go back to your set and you're ready to charge this guy all you got to do is drop this back into the kit right back and it'll start charging and turn the lights off using the contact pins on the bottom right there. So you can make your workflow super, super easy, super, super simple. Will these operate continuously from USB? Yes, they will operate continuously. As full power? Uh, depends on the power supply and the USB-C cables you're using. So if yeah. I provide enough power, it will run continuously? Yes, 100%. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, and these are, I mean, these are clearly much more rugged yeah. than the MCs. They're more rugged. This... They have expanded controls. They have XY. They have HS, advanced HSI. They have CRMX. They have RGB. They have gels. They turn off. Every single thing that Love you can it. possibly build into this light is built into this light. Love it. Yeah. I love that it turns off when you drop it in this. Yeah, and that's a safety mechanism. People kept asking me why does it do that. Well, when you drop it in, you want it to make sure that it's not overheating. And then yep. when the power's off, 
That's it also doesn't turn on right away because you have to turn it on again. Because again, if you close the lid and then you just disconnect power, the lights can stay on, then it's gonna start overheating. It's a fire hazard. Right. So we wanted to make sure that things were designed for professionals, designed for safety, designed for film sets. And so you can also charge from PTAP from another yes. battery. You can out. plug it into AC, the AC power, or you can plug it into PTAP and wow. just get a big enough battery, get a blue shape battery, 290 watt guy. It'll power up this whole case. Now these, these are shipping now? Uh, these guys are available for pre-order and are start shipping in May. May, got But it. the individual lights started shipping as of April 4th. That's incredible. Yep.